Hey guys, so here is week six. I'm gonna give it to you real quick and then we'll go through it. I'm gonna call this Gidget Goes to the Black Rose Acoustic Society. So there you go. That is Gidget Goes to the Black Rose Acoustic Society. And what this is going to be is this is um, for mostly for uh, Bob from the Black Rose Acoustic Society. And, and he brings a very good point that a lot of people that are getting into the cage system are experiencing. And there's going to be people that haven't really had to think about playing lead that much thinking in a melodic sense instead of a rhythm sense and it does take some effort to go from you know just doing there is a little bit of lead kind of stuff in there but you know it, it takes a little effort to go from just chords to um, actual lead lines. And if you're one of those people that's struggling with that, this is the perfect song for you. This is in an, this is in the key of D, and we're using the extended C shape. There we are. Let me move that in for you. So I'm gonna show you how it works stand a little closer there so you're moving in C so I'm just gonna show you how it works in standard C so think about that you're moving around the C scale if you can go up to G on your C scale in your C scale if you can go up to G in your C scale you can play this song so that's all you gotta do and then you do middle finger that's an arpeggio so I'm gonna walk you through it that, but think of this, think of this C shape, you're right here. Right there we go, C shape. Now think of this C shape. See, I'm behind the bar. That's what you're doing, and you're up here. All right, so let me reposition so you can see it a little better. We're up here, and I'm gonna call it out. You are on the sixth string fifth fret. That's the five, five of the five note, and you're gonna walk up. You are on the fifth string, second fret, fifth string, fourth fret, fifth string, fifth fret. So do that, you're just walking up the scale. And you can do this. I'm doing this hybrid picked. Like that, down, up, down, up. Or if you want to, you could do down, down, up, down. Whatever feels more comfortable. So, anyways, you walk up the scale. Now you do an arpeggio, which is the fourth fret, fourth string. So. Uh, third string, second fret. Now back to fourth string, fourth. Fifth string, fifth. So you got. And 
you go back up again. Repeat. Now you get to here and you go. So from the beginning you got. So that's the first time through the D chord. Now this is the second time through. You do a lot of it the same, but the end it's a little bit different. Uh, my bad. Starting over. This is where it changes. So what's new there is. And now you go um, fourth string, second fret. And then fifth string, fifth fret. So first half. Now we're going to do the second half of the D chord. All right. You did all that. You're doing great. Now we're going to do this exact stuff. Nothing changes here. This is the same. You're doing all this in a C shape. Now you're doing it all the way up here where it starts to get scary. And where the money starts to come in right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing that you did down here. You're going to do that all the way up here, beginning on the 10th fret. So, just to call out those numbers, you got 10th fret on the 6th string. You walk up. So that's from 10 to 7, 9, 10, and then 9 on here, and then 7, 9, 10, and then you go all the way back down. This is basically a 12 bar blues progression. You got two Ds, one G, and one D. And then an A, and then a G, and then a D. So, from the beginning, we're doing again. All the way up. to D. Now we're going to go to the A and you're going to walk chromatically. We're walking chromatically because we're going to put in four notes and we need to end on the A. So now you're going to start on the second fret of the sixth string and you're going to walk all four of them notes up to A. And then you're going to do a slide and whichever finger you want to do, but I like to use the, uh, in this situation I'll use my ring finger, so you do, and then you do on the uh, fourth string, or sorry, fifth string, from two to four, and then you add in your, uh, sorry, yeah, fifth string slide to fourth string second fret, so you go. And now you walk up open to G. And you do a slide to open D. And you, I like to meet with the middle finger here. And then I like to do on the D string, I do open to 
three, two, open. So from the beginning of the end here, we have the A. Slide, slide, slide. And now you walk up chromatically, open, two, three. Open, one, two, three. So from there. Now we're going to go all the way back and do the um, beginning D. And you've already got these two down, and this is already kind of there. So you're already kind of barred, and then this finger just needs to go on where the D note is, which is second string, uh, third fret. So from the end, we go slide, 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 open, two, three, slide, three, two, open, and then you're back to here. Get everything together to and you, you have this nice pause to do a chord so I'm gonna walk through the entire thing nice and slow and I'll maybe call out stuff that is particularly important but I'm just gonna walk through it nice and easy one two three four Shift it down. Now chromatic. Slide, slide, slide. Chromatic. Slide. One, two, three, two, open. guys want to follow along at full speed here we go There you go. You have now learned. Uh, Gidget goes to the Black Rose Acoustic Society, and that is going to complete um, all of what we have here for the Intro to Cage class. I hope you guys have been enjoying it, and um, remember always to always come back to your stuff. I learned my Open 2-4 exercise, and I learned that probably... Um, probably within two years of playing guitar and I'm on year 16 now I think and I will still use it absentmindedly for fun and I'll use the spider and I need to warm up and I'll do my hand exercises if I have cold hands or they're just feeling stiff and doesn't feel right doesn't feel right you know and I go through a lot of this stuff and I think about playing in the E shape all the time I think about playing in the A shape literally all the time you know so find what works for you and apply it as much as you can I want it to work for what you have I want it to work as subtly within what you have as you can so I hope you guys enjoyed the cage class and everything went good there so enjoy that enjoy that last song there.